Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thanks for stopping in and joining us here for some good old outboard fun. Um, if you look around behind me, we've got all kind of outboard goodness going on here. We've got parting out. Um... We finished up that 35, and I want to get it out and take it on a test run, so I might be switching that out on my Bay Runner Skiff and taking the DT40 Suzuki off of that, putting on the 35. Um, I've got the 25 ready to go after we washed it, got it all cleaned up. And I've just taken the tiller bracket off a donor motor so we can turn it into a tiller operation. We just got all kind of stuff going on. We got some, uh, I'm actually doing some finishing touches on that 35. Um, inside the bonnet, that foam was all old, and that's, so I'm taking some white spray paint. I cut out the parts that were real bad, and I'm spraying it with, uh, well, I'll show you, with some white spray paint just to glue everything down so you can see there that's the bonnet to the 35 and I'm just taking old regular rattle can white and you can see it still got some of that flaky stuff here and so I just take it and glue it down good with some spray paint same with the foam and that'll stop that we'll carve a rape of them ingesting any of that sorry about that any of that old foam so got all kind of stuff here's the bracket I just took off the transom bracket just took it off of this donor motor along with a few other parts I still got to pop that lower unit off of there because that's a good lower on there so I got to get that popped off just got all kind of stuff going on and then we're going to take it that's the 25 right there that we're going to turn you can see it don't have a tiller handle i haven't put it in the tank yet because i still got the 35 in the tank so i'm going to get those two swapped out and see if that thing will even start up i can't even remember where i got that one from but i'm going to do it up and give it to a friend of mine so we got all kind of outboard goodness going on. Yes, we do. Now, I don't know about you guys, but anytime I come along, a beautiful, cold, clear body of water around my neck of the woods, I fish it. That's what I'm going to do now. See if I can get anything. Yeah. Oh, that was a good cast. That was right, right where I wanted it. Oh, yeah. Look at the action on that loop. That's pretty good action there. Oh, yeah. I'm liable to get something. What do you think? Oh, it's a nice one, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. He's fighting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got him. I got him. Oh, it's one of them tank trout. Nice tank trout. Yeah. These are good. Oh man, they come. They're high in oil and come pre-smoke. Ain't nothing like a good tank trout. Mmm, yummy. Okay, if you've never taken apart one of these 25, 30, 35s, um, you've got 
four seven sixteen cents bolts here one two and two on the other side in the same place then you've got four Phillips screws here that take off these plastic vent covers and one side will drop out and the other side will push up so there's the two halves of that um, then that will oh you've also got a half inch nut on top here right here I'm not sure if you see in that but right in there you've got a half inch nut on top and then that leaves you with your shift disconnect and as you can see I've got two special made wrenches they're half inch wrenches and I've just ground them down so they fit in there better you're still only going to get a half turn at a time but there well, I think this, oh, I, I'll be right back. I grabbed a 7 16th inch special. I'll be right back. Okay, now I went and got my other half inch. And still, it don't give you a lot of room, but it, it gives you a little. Um, a little more. Because there's not a lot of room to work in here. There we go. And you still only get about a half a flat at a time. But you'll get it. Because this is where the engineers put it. That's why it's in there. Because you are saying, why in the world would they put it there? Because that's where they put it. But this lower is good on here still. Um... There we go, it's starting to come, I think. No, it ain't. But this is a good lower unit, so... But just about everything else on this motor was marginal. There we go. Now, once you get this apart, there's a cone in there. And... Gonna have to get it. Boop, boop. And there's your little plastic cone. And take note at which way that's facing when you go to put it back on. And then there's a little slice in that cone. And I find it best if I get a pick. But I'm gonna turn it till I can see the slice, which is, there it is. And yes, it is easy to lose those. But I find if I get a pick, they say don't reuse them. I've reused them many times. There we go. That's what it is. So, like I said, pay attention to how you take it out. And now when you break this in half this piece will just generally fall off right there you just pull it out and it'll fall off oh. so to speak and put your cone where you won't lose it and you get my thumping hammer my drill
And like I said, that piece, that brass nut in there should just fall off onto the ground. heads wanting to fall which we don't want to do that so we'll put it in there and there's the other piece that you'll need to save too Put it back together so that is about all oh the latch the hood latch I need to take that off but other than that you can see the motor mounts on this thing were completely gone here here and down here they were all broke so I'm gonna take that hood latch off of it and the uh, Woodruff key out of the crank. I'll try and get that plastic piece out. There ain't much more of this one I would want. I'll take the water tube clip out the bottom. And that's if I can even get that. I think it'll come out. I'm always breaking these hood latches, it seems like, so we will see if we can get it. If it's too salty and froze up, then we can't, but this one ain't. This, has got, this one's got the brass latch. Some of them are metal, steel. This one's brass. Well, well, well. Still don't want to come off there. Bing! See that pretty brass one? That'll clean up nice. Now, how tight is this going to be? There goes the little nylon washer. And there's the rest of it. Then... Get on there. We'll put the rest of it back in any order just to keep everything together. So when I go to snap it, whoop, I dropped that other washer. And then I dropped my little metal one. Where did it go? I saw it. There it is. Oh, come here. So when I snap the next one, I have a nice replacement. So, <laughs> what did I do with my parts bucket? There it is. Here's most of what I've taken off of it so far. Um, sometimes these come out, sometimes they don't. This one is coming right out. Because I've been known to snap these too, your little, oh, you know, your telltale little adapter here for the hose. I've been known to snap them once in a great while, like every time. But this one's coming on out, which is good. Now, I've also got to pull the head off of here because I know this has a new head gasket in it. 
How do I know that? I put it in there. Jay! Got my clamps all done up, all loosey goosey. So it's got nice transom clamps. It's a good work engine. sell better.
Hey, Mr. Bullet Head Eagle. will be our next victim coming up 25 and in my last video you saw me washing this 25 along with that 35 now we got the 35 all purdied up squared away it's a runner this guy even though it's been washed remember I used that big orange something like that it's called You can see the uh, insulation in the bonnet there. I don't even remember where I got this outboard. You can also see the creepy crawlies right up there. So, oh, even though I've given it the big orange treatment and hosed it down, see the creepy crawly right there? What wants to get me? But you can see this one's got the electric start, the rectifier, the pull start. And I hope it's a good runner because I want to give it to a friend of mine who needs an outboard. But I think I'm going to get my actual bug juice out and give this a little bit of a... A little bit of a of a soaking with that because that thing it doesn't seem to matter how many times I hose them down or whatever they're still creepy crawlies after I get it all cleaned up and ready to go and start it they'll come crawling out of there just it, it amazes me I'm like what do spiders eat in there but I don't know but uh I've got the tiller handle all washed up right over there on the work table. So I've got the, well, all washed up. As good as I'm going to wash it up. <laughs> but I got it all ready to go. And i got to put some transom clamps in it. But this will be our next victim. A 25. What year is it? Well, it's got the shift on the side, so let's see. I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, it's got one. Let's see if I can read it now. E. Introduces. It's a 1990. Yes. So it's a 1990. That tiller handle setup I've got is coming off an 88. It should work just fine. Um. Like I said, I don't remember where I got this thing, but it feels like it has real good compression. And uh, just needs a little more cleaning. We got to get that carburetor. In this case, eh, it's a carburetor. It's not a garbage raper. It's the all aluminum one. I like that. Um, missing. Oh, it's got the fixed jet in it. Yep, it's got the fixed jet. So that's a pretty good carburetor there. It's. Uh, all aluminum, don't have the plastica top, but boy, it's got the creepy crawlies in it. But want to get me. So, the 35, I washed, gave that one a bath the same day, the 25 a, a bath the same day as I did uh, that 35 and 25 were both on my double cart and. I gave them both a good bath. Oh! Well, that's video. Just another uh, day around the shop. And uh, this 25 horsepower is going to be our next victim. It's a uh, 19 and 90. Um, I don't remember where I got it from, so we're going to have to get a good fax check done on it. And uh, something I... Uh, if you look at the footage when I filmed it for the uh, 
just to show you the, the motor there, if you back that up and look at that pan, that lower pan, you can see that just all the paint is just flaking off of this thing. And I've noticed this in these 25 through 35 in and around the early 90s, from about 90 on. I've had them come in here for, you know, just routine maintenance for like a water pump impeller or something. And the paint will just be peeling off of them. Um, so I think OMC was in such dire straits right about then that that's when they started cutting corners pretty hard. And one of the things they seemed to cut, they, they did away with the air silencers on them um, and other little things. But one of the things that they cut back on, uh, and I can tell it because I've seen it, is primer. And... Uh, I've seen, like I said, I've seen them come in here and you, the paint's just literally, the whole motor will just have the paint flaking off of it and there will be no trace of zinc or etching primer or anything up under that paint. Um, so I think they were, they were doing everything they could right about that time, about 1990s when it started and uh, they were doing every, they were cutting cost anywhere and everywhere they could to stay afloat. And uh, it sure shows on some of these motors like this one. But, uh, yeah, so I had a fella come in here looking for a power head for a 15 Honda, and I happen to have, I, I've got a couple of them, and I wanted to show you this one. This is why he needed a power head. This is the, the head off of that one. Look at that valve where it let go. <laughs> it did a number on it, didn't it? So, yeah, that old valve head snapped off and just tore it up. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. So, I think this one's probably getting a little bit long. That 25 Johnson will be our next victim. And I uh, think I'll give her a shot of bug juice or something, see if I can't run some of them creepy crawlies out of the air what wanna get me um but I want to say to all you dads out there a big happy Father's Day I hoping you're having a good day and uh kick back have everybody wait on you that's right you deserve it so I'm sure in this hodgepodge video somewhere there was a hack or two so as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.